So if you have a Toyota and you get a message on your dashboard that says drive start control malfunction, visit your dealer. I thought I'd go over some of the causes of this and how you might be able to go about fixing it. And so what is this drive start control? Well, it's basically a safety feature from Toyota that helps stop sudden acceleration. It can also stop the vehicle from starting if it's in the wrong gear. So it's basically a new safety feature from Toyota. And so what are some possible causes of this? Well, it could be from driving mistakes, could be a bad neutral safety switch, could be a bad fuse or relay, could be in the wiring like an open or short, something might be wrong with the transmission and possibly a bad onboard computer and so the first thing that can cause this is going to be driving mistakes so if you're doing a lot of really hard driving in your toyota and things like this you're going into reverse and then drive and this message comes on then that might be normal and it and it should go away but if it doesn't go away then that's when there's a problem and so the first thing to do if this message won't go away is go get a scan of the onboard computer for any possible error codes and the obd2 scan tool will need to read transmission codes which not all obd2 scan tools are going to be able to do this and so if you don't have this type of scan tool, then automotive stores will usually do a scan for free. Be sure to call around first, but most of them will come out and scan your vehicle for any codes that it might have for free. And so the first thing to do, if possible, is go get a scan to read any possible error codes that's on the onboard computer. For example, if you got this a P0705, this would point to a bad neutral safety switch. And this is a part of the drive start control system. It's just a small little component that's located right on the side of the transmission. And so if you were to scan the onboard computer and you got this error message, then that would be one of the things to go test or replace because very likely it would be a bad neutral safety switch. And so the first thing to do is if possible, go get a scan of the onboard computer. And the third thing on this list is this neutral safety switch. Like I said, if you scan the onboard computer, you're gonna know whether or not it's having an issue, but that has been reported to be causing this problem. And so that is something to look for. The next thing to do after you read for any possible error codes is to go check for any blown fuses. This includes both the engine compartment and up and underneath the dashboard of the vehicle. And I was told it was this DC cut fuse, but that needs to be verified. Basically, I would go through and just check for any blown fuses in both the engine compartment and underneath the dashboard, and especially any of these fuses labeled like ECU or anything like that, or ignition, then go and check those. But the next thing to go and do is to go through your fuses and be sure that none of them are blown. And the next thing that can cause this issue is a wiring problem. And wiring problems can be difficult to troubleshoot, but if you go around and just look around the transmission, up inside the engine compartment, things like this, just look for any bad connections. And sometimes rodents can get up and in there and chew on wires and things like this. So if you could just look for anything obvious, then that might help point you to what the problem Problem is like I said wiring problems can be kind of difficult to troubleshoot so if it's not obvious then you very likely will need to take it to somebody to fix but the next thing to look for is going to be a wiring problem and the next thing that can cause this problem is that there's been a failure inside the transmission and it needs to be repaired and again if you scan for any error codes on the onboard computer it's going to point out if, if there is a problem with the transmission so if you have like a solenoid that's gone bad or something like this then it'll give you an error code and you'll know what's going on but the next thing on the list is going to be something's failed in the transmission and the last thing that could cause this problem, although not too common, is going to be that the onboard computer failed, the ECU or PCM. And while this isn't too common, these can fail sometimes. So if you've gone through and you checked everything else out and everything else looks good, then you might want to start testing the onboard computer for a failure. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to go over some of the causes of a Toyota with the drive start control malfunction message on the dashboard. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.